Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to day 62 of Autodesk Fusion. Today, I'm going to be working on specifically to create a drawing template for our automatas, but um, I want to do it correctly, kind of as in-depth as we can to make this a nice polished product. So the problem with my other drawing template video is that when you went to click on Add a New Sheet, it would do a default title block. And so what I've now done is if I add a sheet, it will now do a very specific title block and then I can go in and kind of change in the settings as I need. So we can change this, this page to be something larger or small than what we need. And so you can not have to worry about uh, making title blocks for all different types. We're going to make one, I've already made one in metric, so this video is now going to be doing the same thing now making it in standard. And so I really recommend that if since you're going to be doing pieces in both, uh, go ahead and make a title block in both. You can't make it for one. The reason being is that I can't change this, this sheet size to be standard. Uh, it's stuck in metric, and once you've made it in metric, you can't really transition it over. And so let's go ahead and get started on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click out of here. There's our automata box. And so I'm going to click on uh, File new drawing, new drawing template. And this is going to be from scratch. Uh, I could do it from here, but then I won't show you all those little features. And so we're going to be from scratch. It's going to be a standard, so ASME. I've already done it in ISO. The units are in inches. And then uh, sheet size, it really doesn't matter because we can change that sheet size of the, of the template uh, once we start doing our designs. So this really doesn't matter. It's kind of by default, what do you want the first page to be? And so by default, I'm just going to choose sheet size B because that tends to work the best um, when you're making some of these things. Go ahead and click OK. Now what we got here so far is we have a very basic uh, title block. And so what I'm going to do here is edit this title block to be kind of the information that I want to see. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to click on it once and it becomes blue. Once it becomes blue, we're able to right click and then edit title block. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to create, take this title block and we're going to make a new one. Um, and so actually let's do, let's try right click and let's do new title block. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this title block and I'm going to change it to be what I want it to be. So we're going to call this title block, we're going to call it uh, your school, so Westell title block. And then we're going to click OK. That way it's going to say when we choose the Westell title block, it will take this title block and put it wherever you want it. Um, I'm just going to click on the stuff that I know I'm not going to need. I'm just going to hit the delete key on my keyboard. I know I'm not going to really need the project because <clears throat> A lot of these students are not doing things for weeks on time. They're usually doing things for days on time. So really don't need projects. Don't really need prove dates or checked. <clears throat> I am going to use drawn by and drawn date. So I'm going to keep those. Scale, really don't need. Weight, really don't need. I'm going to keep sheets in there. <coughs> Sorry. Don't really need size. Don't need code. I'm just looking for the bare bones of what I want my students to show me. And so what we're going to do here then is we're going to drag this on down, go ahead and drag this on down. And then you notice when I click on an object, I want it to move it. There's these gray boxes. The one that's in the middle for lines allows me to move the line. And all the ones in the end allow me to change that line's size. So I'm going to move that down just to squish a little bit. We're going to take drawn date, and we're just going to move it right over here. And drawn by, I'm just going to move that right over here. Now, I do want to keep some consistency between my other title block and this one, so I'm actually going to open that one up as well. So that way they look as similar-ish as we can. And so what do we have here? We've got department, project lead the way. So we have the class name. So let's go ahead and let's add some of that. I'm going to go ahead and also click on text. 
So that text is going to be department. And we're just going to move this down a little bit. <clears throat> and then now we're going to insert some more text. So this is going to be, let's try that again, click on text. This is going to be project lead the way. Introduction to engineering and design. Okay, now that didn't really fit in there, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get away with that. I can't, so I'm actually gonna just make both of these align right there. And that looks okay. All right, I think we can scrunch this down just a little bit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and move this drawn to right here. Move this right on down here. What do we have in that other one? We said we said created by. We didn't say drawn. So created by. Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and also make that a different size. So I'm going to click on created by, and let's make this a lot smaller. We can. Uh, it's fighting me right now, so well, let's just not worry about that later. Draw on date, move that over just a hair. Now, what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing this on the fly. I'm going to do a test run to see if it kind of produces everything I want it to. Sometimes I ran into some, some small problems. So, I'm going to do is go ahead and delete all these lines because I know I won't need them. And you can kind of adjust these however you want. This is just making a title block that we're going to use in our class frequently. And so it only shows the information that our class will need. So this really doesn't follow any industrial standards. This kind of just follows uh, the Mr. Williams teacher standards. Now, if you notice I have a little hard time organizing that title, I'm going to click unselect snap to grid. That way I can kind of move this a little bit more freely. <clears throat> there we go and we're good to go so we're going to move this down as well move this down as well and I'm going to delete all of these lines actually I'm going to change the size of that one bring this one on down and bring this one right on over There we go. So we're looking a little bit better on the information I'm just really looking for. So I'm going to delete these. Oh, I didn't need that. Let's make these lines go away. All right. Now, the last thing we're going to do while we're in this title block is going to go ahead and insert that image of our school logo. It's because when we create a new sheet, it'll automatically throw that logo in there on every sheet and we don't need to change anything. So I'm gonna click on logo insert. I'm gonna click on the bottom left corner where it's gonna be. We'll go ahead and scale that down just a little bit till it fits. And then we can use the X and Y distance to center that the best we can. Click okay. Alrighty, and we'll see if that kind of matches up with the other one. That looks okay. Go ahead and hit finish. Now, you notice I ran into a little bit of a problem here, is as a preview, anything in those caret symbols are fields that are automatically gonna be filled in. So we got the title one, the create date, but my created by, that one kind of disappeared. So I have to go in and figure out what I did there. So we're gonna edit this title block. And I don't know why this happens sometimes, but I'm going to go ahead and reinsert that attribute. Click OK. Now let's finish this title block. And now we see that that automatic field shows up. I found that sometimes I accidentally had a space bar or something's not quite right. And so we see is the static values, uh, the department, project lead the way, instruction and design is going to stay there. The title is going to automatically populate create date, create by, and usernames are actually going to populate. It looks a little shifted over to the left, so I'm actually probably going to go back here and, and change this a little bit, but for the sake of time, um, let's go ahead and call this done. All right, so now I'm going to save this. 
So this is going to be my school. So it's Westell title block. And this is going to be uh, standard, so ASME. Go ahead and hit save. And, and we're good to go. So now when I click on quick add, it will automatically throw in that uh, logo for every sheet. If I take a sheet and I want to change that sheet size under sheet settings, we'll find sheet size. You're able to change what you're looking for. So if you want that first one to be, you know, eight, 11 by eight and a half, and then we want this one to be more of a portrait rather than landscape. So we're going to click on eight and a half by 11. That way it sticks with every single sheet and that looks good. So I'm going to close out of this and let's see if this works well. If cool, we're going to call this done in this video and then the next video we'll start making our drawing files. So let's click on back to our automata. We'll call a new drawing from design. We're going to create this with our title block and the inches. So we can choose ASME and then click OK. Did everything kind of populate as we expected? Well, I'm just going to go and put that there real quick. We got our title, A. Williams Tomto, looking good. Created by, well, it's, it's got today's date because this is when the drawing file was made. Created by me and sheet four of four. And because that's got, I've already got the other three in here. All right, so I wonder if I actually delete this. There you go. It automatically counts the sheets for you and updates that. All right, guys, that's going to be it. And then on the next video, what I'm going to do is show how to make multiple sheets and multiple drawings and what you need to show a good drawing file from the automata top to bottom. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know.